Guys, Rosie revealed the biggest secret of her life today on national TV. Guys, I was shocked, like shocked to the bones. Okay, let me tell you what happened. Hold on, hold up. If you're yet to subscribe, please just hit the subscribe button as we move on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. In fact, there's no, there's no need for introduction. Let's just go straight into the video. So, today being Wednesday, Auntie came to the house to have a normal section that she usually has with the couples or the love guests. And she started with Fresh David. Before I even move on to Fresh David, let's just take a second or two to hail Auntie because Auntie knows the right questions to ask. Like, like she knows the right things she knows the spot that is going to hit and everything is going to you know come out anyways the first couple she started with was fresh david and the question she asked them was oh what do you like the most about him and fresh talker was like oh he's expressive he's thoughtful he learns quickly and he's really attentive so david now said um what he likes about her is the fact that she scares him and like she challenges him and he likes us about her so Antina went on to ask okay what don't you like about him she was not like well he's quite rigid and he takes things really seriously for example there was a time i was feeding jerry he saw it and he got upset about it even though i feel like it's because it's jerry because i've been feeding other house mates or love guests but he didn't take up offense and david was like no i've not seen you feed other house guests before or oh, love guest rather before i saw it for the first time and i really didn't like it felt somehow to me and all that she was not like well she grew up around boys and because of her career and stuff she has always been around boys so feeling a boy is really nothing but she's trying to get to understand david where he's coming from david on the other hand explained how well that before he didn't used to care all these things are nothing to him he now cut across the fact that oh he doesn't care in his past relationship so his last relationship he noticed that he was trying starting to become a star somehow so he said he needed to pay attention to his girlfriend and take seriously his emotional path of his life so what he did was that he started being extra you know even one when he shows his care and emotions he does it extra and that is why he is like this and all that moving on to the next question what is the deepest secret that you have not told her or you have not told you people should look at each other and tell each other now well fresh talker was not talking about her family that her dad growing up her dad was really tight-handed with her mom like he didn't really used to give her so she saw her mom suffer and struggle to raise them up and all that so she had to tell herself that this is not going to happen to her so she had to try to start doing things for herself you know making her own money and all that's why right, right now she's quite independent she doesn't like collecting things from people and a lot of people have complained about it so yeah that is one of the reasons that's a secret then david now said he's too shy he has something in his family where his dad didn't want him his mom had had his siblings but when he got to his turn the dad didn't want him like when the mom got pregnant he told her take it up she got pregnant again the second time he told her take it out when he got to his turn the mom just kept secret, uh, kept it a secret and then she gave birth to him so when she told him the story and got to find out he said he hated his dad for it and he really wasn't he didn't even have any relationship with his dad up until like three years before he passed the same thing for Presh Talker. She was like, she too, it's not been long. She's there reconciling with her dad again because it was so hurtful to her that time seeing her mom struggle because her dad wouldn't just provide. The next couple she spoke to was J. Ketch. So J. Ketch, the first question she asked was, oh, what don't you like about him? Um, and Ketchi was like, he's quite forceful. He likes things to always go his way. And that is one thing she doesn't like about him. And then and Jay on the other hand was like, well, he, 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 don't, he won't say he dislikes anything about her. That the only thing he doesn't like right now is the fact that she's always very far from him, especially when he's in the kitchen. And he always tells her, come close to me so that when I finish cooking, you can have your meal, you know. Because most of the time, before she will come to the kitchen, the food has everybody has taken so he really wants her around but she now explained why she doesn't come to the kitchen the next question auntie asked jay was that 
okay, what do you miss about your ex and what has been the best relationship you have had? He wasn't like, well, there's this girl, the last relationship you had when he was in the UK schooling, you know, she was so caring, she understood him like a book, like she's, she was so amazing. One of the things she did for him was that it was winter and she, he didn't have money to get himself a jacket, a winter jacket. She was in Nigeria. She bought the jacket, wrote a note, blew her own kisses, like real kisses on the nose, sprayed her perfume and sent it from Nigeria to him over there. And it was so nice and he misses that about her so much. NK now asked her, what do you miss about your ex and what do you, what has been your best relationship? She was like, well, she doesn't miss anything and all that. And nothing really, nothing really. She can't remember anything. She can't wrap her head around anything. Moving on to the next thing, NK now decided to stay back to speak to Auntie about her consent and all that. Then Auntie now said, okay, stay back. And Jay said he didn't have anything to say. So she now told Auntie, what she told Auntie was that she's concerned about her spirituality, that she knows that Jay has some issues. Because if you watch my previous video, you will notice that Jay said that he doesn't believe in Titan. He's one of the daddy freeze kind of people. So she knows that it's going to be an issue because for her to get married, she has grown up from a Christian home where she's Catholic. And she knows that to get married in Catholic, you have to do baptism, you have to do communion, you know, some things. And she says she feels like it's going to be an issue for them. So for me, I feel like the early she notices this talk to him about it and let them settle it out or know if they can work together the better for her so auntie was like talk to her about it and um, um, auntie was like talk to jay about it and see where you people are going about it so they also mentioned in the house that um I, in Kechi was like oh that people are just going around spreading rumors that the other day she heard somebody telling another person that nk said that she cannot cook with an emotional person in the same kitchen and according to nk she just told rosie something and she knows that rosie was the one that went to talk and obi came to meet her so she said there's just this mix up in the house and she doesn't really like involving herself around it then jay was not like he feels like the other love guests especially the female ones in the house are threatened by Chris, NK, and Prestoka because they are actually friends now. They are close. They pray together. And people just feel like they, all they do when they sit together is that they gossip. But they actually pray together. They talk about career. They talk about work. And you don't know why people are being threatened by them. Guys, please leave your honest opinion on that. One. You know me now. I don't have strength to come and be to come and be a judge here. He said that they pray together. They this, they that. But in my eyes, it means I've not seen them pray. There's a possibility that they pray, but all I've seen them do is sit down and talk about other people. Is it gossip? Yes, it's gossip. But guys, you know now, leave, leave your own comments below. Moving on to the next couple. The next couple was Roxy. So Roxy, the first question Auntie asked them was, how do you come up with your nomination list? Like, how do you determine your next guest to nominate? They were like, it's very simple. You pick me this week, I pick you next week. It's as easy as that. There's no need to be thinking and wrapping your head around who to nominate and who not to nominate. Then she was not like, okay, what do you dislike about Kachi and Kachi? What do you dislike about Rosie? Rosie was like, he can be naughty at times, you know, and then another thing is that he can be hypocritical because there are things where he will say, don't do this thing and he has already done it. So she's like, this is being hypocritical. Why are you doing this so yeah that's what she doesn't like about him then kachina said what he doesn't like about rosie is that she's stubborn and then she keeps this night so he was like there are times where he would say baby come let's go inside and she refused and was not like what if she doesn't want to sleep early well how does that you know you people don't have to be together all the time i've told you before he wasn't like yeah but it affects him too she wasn't like how so he said there was this day they were supposed to work out together in the morning but because of how late she slept though she woke up early but she was too tired too weak to work out so they couldn't work out so yeah it affects him then i asked okay so what do you like about him rosen was like he's selfless you know he's funny he's a keeper then um kachi was not like she's selfless she has a mother attribute the next question auntie asked was what is the deal breaker for you so kachi was like well he doesn't really have a deal breaker because he feels like with a good therapist he can work things out however him and rosie had had this discussion and he said adultery and murder Moving on to the next thing, Auntie now told them to, you know, share a secret that they've not told anybody before. And they were like, 
Oh, is there a secret? Is there a secret? And I started asking the right questions, hitting the nail on the head. And I was like, like for you, Rosie, in case maybe you have um, another child somewhere, then catch it for you. Probably you have a wife somewhere. Something that you have not told her before. Something you think that if this person probably finds out, it may cause issues in your marriage or future plans, whatever it is. So Rosie now goes, um, well yes right i have another child a son and he's 13 years old <sighs> do you feel that way too yes that was how i felt he's 13 years old however after she had given birth to the child when the child was four months old he was taken away from her so she has not seen the child since then till now so yeah that is the deepest secret that she shared moving on to the next thing you know, he needed to see Kachi's look. Like, he was almost crying. Like, the tears was just all over his eyes. He just held himself. You know, Antina started trying to make light the issue and all, yeah. And that was how they ended. I'm going to come back to this, but let's just move on to the next couple. The next couple was Double Chris. So, Double Chris, the first question is, what don't you like about him? Chris said, oh, that she doesn't like the way he sounds, like he sounds upset sometimes. Well, right now, she's beginning to understand that that is how he is. So, yeah, it's not much of an issue for her. So, what do you like about him? She was like, he's cute. He jokes. He's crazy sweet. She's not giving stats of when he farted for her. That he was quite serious and extreme, but he was crazy and sweet at the same time. And that she, he has actually found her tickle point. So, yeah, that is what she likes about him. Chris Vilna said what he likes about Chris is that, oh, she has this mother figure and his mom has already told him before that if you see somebody acting like your mom and all that, just know that she may be the one. So, yeah, they even had this handshake, you know, chop knuckle here, high five there, low five there, you know, do this dust here, dust here kind of handshake. So, yeah, they're actually getting along and according to Chris, they are dating now. Moving on to the next thing, Antina asked them, so what will probably be your deal breaker? Chris View was like, eh, well, he doesn't like exes showing up. He said he still has a communication with his exes, but the communication is just over the phone and most of the time they just chat. So it's not as if he like, and if his partner is not comfortable with it, he's going to, of course, let go. Then Chris, on the other hand, now said her own deal breaker is that she actually was having a conversation with Chris and Chris was like, he allows girls sleep over at his place and she was like, no, that can't work for her. That is her own deal breaker. Moving on to the next thing, she, Chris now said, oh, that um, Chris Bill always wants to do things for himself and she's like, let me help. I want to help, but he never allows her. Chris was not like, well, it's because of what happened when he was growing up. He's the first son, so he gets to do a lot of things for himself and for his younger ones. So, yeah, he's used to it. He likes putting things in place, putting things in order. So, yeah, that is why he's the way he is. Moving on to the next couple, the next couple was JLo. So when JLo came in, the first question my auntie asked was, What do you dislike about your partner? JLo was like, She's stubborn. I said, JLo was like, That's Louis was like, She's stubborn. She doesn't listen. She doesn't get a joke. She doesn't want to be controlled. You know, she sleeps so when I'm having a good conversation. She's defensive. Like, he was like, can I, I can go on and on about all the things that I don't like about her. Auntie now said, Okay, so what is the issue what don't you like about him and jen coco was like he doesn't listen that's what that's just it's not like he doesn't hear me when i talk but he just doesn't listen so jenny coco was not like see the other time he wanted to know about my church the church i attend and louis was like yeah i just asked her what church do you attend because i've always thought that she attended redeem and she was like eh, i'm going to tell you later so he said can I know now? It's just your church. You can just say it now. She was like, no, it cannot be now. She was like, why does he want it now, now, now? He wants things to be done when he wants it to be done. And she said she doesn't get that. She doesn't like that about it, about him. And that is it for her. It wasn't like that's how they went for the task the other day. He was talking about things and he was like, oh, the game is frustrating. And he used the word frustrating. And she was like, oh, why did you do that? And yeah, I saw that video. She was like, no, don't use that word. And he's like, how can you just be telling me that on on? on the camera you get so he didn't really like that he didn't he didn't go well with him so that was the kind of conversation that they were having so i think i said okay you 
um, tell a secret to this person and you tell a secret to this other person. It doesn't like where well, he doesn't have any secrets, he doesn't have anything to hide. That though he had already talked, uh, spoken with Jenny Coco that they shouldn't talk about certain things here, they should talk over it when they come out of the house because he wouldn't want the whole world to know or see or hear about those kind of things. So, yeah, that there was a time where she was talking about her being molested when she was growing up, but he doesn't want people to hear about it so that they don't use it against them when they come out of the house or just in case things happen between them moving on to the next thing what is a deal breaker for you the, the, um, louis said it is when he finds out that you probably have a child and you didn't tell him and all the things you have been telling him about your family your life generally is false then it's going to be a deal breaker for him for him she now said yeah that also if she comes out of the house to find out that louis has been pretending and lying and all those things in this house making a facade about everything and she comes out of the house and finds out that he's lying that's going to be a deal breaker for her then then i said okay tell me the best relationship you have had and what you miss the most about it next thing jenny coco started oh the person i dated I dated for close to like three years he's so understanding he listens to me he doesn't control me you know he was just she was just saying all the things that louis was not then when they asked louis louis now started saying oh she's understanding she likes to hear me out she knows how i am you know he was just saying things that jenny coco was not so auntie was not like okay because i've had this kind of relationship and you because i've had this kind of relationship you're finding it difficult to come to a common ground because somebody else is not just understanding and taking the control and all those things so after that auntie now told them to wait if anybody has anything to say to her later like talk to her alone so jen coco decided to wait Lou went outside because Lou also wanted to talk to auntie so jen coco now started telling auntie that well that growing up that her dad and her mom as a stepmom they had one kind of relationship that she didn't really like and she wouldn't want that to happen to her as well that the relationship is such that people think that her dad is being controlled by her stepmom that she'll be walking on the street everybody her neighbors everybody around her feels like the dad is being controlled by the mom and she doesn't like that she doesn't want that to happen to her that is why she seems to be defensive when somebody is controlling and she doesn't want that she doesn't want to hear it but one of the things that the um coach said the trainer that's praise when he came to speak to them he said when you do not want to be like your parents or something that you tend to run away from you end up being that thing and she said she's actually noticing that she is now becoming the control freak and she's going to work on it louis on the other hand when he came in auntie was like um so do you want to leave there because he sent auntie a message one time when him and jen coco were having issues and he said he wanted to leave so auntie was like do you want to leave now say yes or no he was like he wanted to and she said just ask her yes or no he was like no he doesn't want to leave now because things are looking like they can work out he can work things out well if it gets worse that he's going to leave that when he sends that message he really wanted to leave because he's actually not used to you know relationship where he's quarreling every day one issue and another to another and everything so yeah guys let's talk about rosie for a bit and um, let's talk about what she's going through i know that it's a secret and it seems like she lied but let's just forget about the fact that she lied well you can share your opinion but let's forget about the fact that she lied and just focus on the fact that oh this kind of thing actually happened to her when she was really young because 13 years ago she will really be young she'll be like 23 and they took away her child her four months child from her i know how hot food it can be and her trying to forget about him the son trying to forget about him and act like he doesn't exist but it's somewhere in her heart i'm sure she didn't talk about it because first of all she doesn't even know where he is she probably would even know what he looks like because a four months old baby you know so there's just how it is so saying it today i don't know what she's going to be feeling and when she said it how Kachi really felt because they've not talked about it yet i don't know how it's going to affect their relationship but yeah i feel so bad for rosie and i hope that whatever it is she's going through that she comes out of it guys i'd like to know your honest opinion what you think about rosie what you think about louis and jenny coco i feel like louis and jenny coco they are just forcing things jenny coco has issues just like she has told auntie and we know the issues now and she just probably talk to someone get to settle it out with herself before she will not go and start ruining things for herself because joe and um, louis obviously is not having it like you cannot i cannot just tell you something and you take it every single time you are being defensive and if she goes out there to go and act like this to somebody else it's also going to be an issue so i feel like it's something she should work on but guys i would like to know what you think leave a comment below let's just let's talk about this on the comment section
If you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. It is very important to me that you do so. If you're yet to subscribe to my channel, it is even more important. It is, liking the video is important, but subscribing is important. You know that thing now. You know how we do. Until next time, guys, I'm going to see you on my next one. Bye.